YouTube, it's me, Prova Rock Keepers, and today I am going to do a video um, per a viewer's request. She wanted to know about the different bottles that I use for Glimmer Mist, and so um, here we are. I'm not going to go into how to make Glimmer Mist because there are a lot of good videos, good tutorials out there on YouTube on how to make it. But will I, what I will do is talk about some of the things that I have used that works well for me. The first thing is reinkers. This is the Stampin' Up um, Classic, the red, the real red. Um, this gives you a bolder look. I also use alcohol ink, which gives you a softer look. I have also used acrylic paint. And um, there's a lot of different color paints out there. And the important, well, you don't have to have the metallic or the um, shimmer. You can use regular ink and you can add the shimmer to it. Um, if you, you can also, or you would want to use a binding agent. So I use Perfect Pearls. And I also use Pearl X which is like perfect pearls it gives you a shimmer but it doesn't have the binding agent that you need so if you decide to use perfect or the pearl X you would need some type of binding so you can use um, glue I've seen some people use hairspray some people go out and buy the actual binding medium so it all depends on what and how you want to make your glimmer mist and what's the best um, an affordable method for you. Now, prior to the video, I did um, make some sprays, and um, here is one using the mini misters. Here is another one using um, the spray applicator Stupendous, and I don't remember where I bought this from. Um, you can get the mini misters, I think it's three or four in a pack at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I've never seen them at Joann's, but they may have them. Um, this is the iGo, and this was from the dollar section at Target. And then this is another bottle that I found at the at Hobby Lobby in the art section. So these are the four different types of bottles that I use. And the reason why is because, you know, they may not have a lot of bottles available. And I really don't care for the yellow one because you can't see the true color of the mist. But I know that this is one of the red ones that I made. And, used, and I also used um, the Perfect Pearls Jewel. I think it's like the ruby red, so you will get like a red tint or red um, glimmer to it. Okay, so prior to the video, I did make some sprays. And the important thing is to remember when you spray that you have to commit to the spray. Meaning you have to give it a, a full push because if you, get a, if you give the applicator a, a half push, for me, it tends to give more splatter. Another thing is how much you shake the bottles, which is why I went ahead and bought the BBs. Because it shakes it up for you without having you to shake the bottle too much. Okay, so here is this bottle here. Let's move these out the way. This bottle here, this was made from a reinker from this bottle. And this one here, and I don't know if you can see the spray. Let's see. This is a half, and as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of splatter around. A lot of splatter. Now, for a full commitment spray, it minimizes the amount of splatter. And hopefully you can see this. So it's not as much splatter. And this is just a cheap cardstock, so I mean, if you use a thicker cardstock, um, it's not going to look as washed out. But again, this is using the alcohol ink, which will give you a softer color. The next one is from this sp spray bottle. 
the Stupendous. I look again, I don't know where I bought it from, but they do have a website here, stupendous.com. And this one was a full spray. And it's not as much splatter. This gives you a softer color. And this one was made from the watermelon. And then here is a half spray. And as you can see, there is a lot of splatter on here. Okay, so again, you have to commit to the spray. The next one is this ro the um, Rojo, the red, the real red. And this one was the full spray. And you see how more intense the color is? There's about 15 drops um, of ink in here, which is the same amount that I used for the other red one, the watermelon. So you see, just see in comparison to how bold the color on the bottom is compared to how soft the one at the top is. But again, you have minimal amount of splatter. And then with this one it was a half one it's not as much splatter so I mean I guess maybe it's about the spray bottle itself too so it's a minimum amount and then lastly this is the mini mister and then this one was a full spray and then this one was a half spray and there was a minimal amount of splatter um, using the mini mister so if I was to recommend a mist, um, a sprayer, I would recommend the Mini Mister. But if you use a lot of the same color, then I would probably recommend this Igo. But these are good as well. Just remember to commit to your spray. So that is all that I have for you right now. I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.